Welcome back to Jersey Matters. We're now in Westfield, New Jersey. This is the heart of the 7th Congressional District. Republican Congressman Leonard Lance has served this district for 10 years, but he's now in the fight for his political life against Democratic challenger and former Assistant Secretary of State Tom Malinowski. This is a district that Hillary Clinton won in 2016. Our Kimberly Kravitz gives us an update on the race. Kimberly. Kimberly Kravitz here in the 7th Congressional District, where we are encountering one of the most contentious races in New Jersey. Longtime incumbent Leonard Lance, who has held the seat for over a decade, is seeking his sixth term. But in this midterm election, he is facing his greatest challenge yet, Democratic challenger Tom Malinowski. Leonard Lance is fighting for us. Leonard Lance has dominated the polls, winning re-election four times by double-digit margins. His voting record and his stance as a moderate Republican have fared favorably in his district. But this can all change at the polls on November 6th. I've lived in the 7th District my entire life. I know it like the back of my hand. And my opponent this year is someone who is a carpetbagger who has moved into the district exclusively to run for Congress this year. I run for re-election based upon uh, my record of service and based upon my centrist views on the major issues confronting the country. Now introducing Mr. Tom Malinowski, who has moved back to New Jersey after a career in Washington that included serving on President Clinton's National Security Council and as an Assistant Secretary of State under President Obama. His goal for the 7th District is to restore Medicaid and focus on protecting social liberties such as Social Security. I'm not a career politician. It's the first time I'm running for office. Uh, I'm an immigrant to America, to New Jersey. Came here when I was six years old from Poland. Uh, grew up here and spent my life in public service. I've come home to run for Congress because I think our country and our state are in trouble right now. Incumbent Leonard Lance argues that his moderate voice can move Republicans to the sensible center, just as he won re-election in this district by 11 points in 2016. Although Lance is a veteran legislator, some constituents may be swayed to seek new leadership. Congressman Lance has been in there for 10 years. He has authored not a single piece of major legislation. He's voted more than 60 times to repeal the Affordable Care Act, most of the time without any replacement. One of the biggest issues separating the two candidates is tax reform. Lance believes that Malinowski would disappoint the 7th District by allowing for higher taxes. I favor keeping the economy strong. It's particularly important in our district because we have a, a, a bevy of uh, manufacturing in this district, in the pharmaceutical industry and in the telecom industry. And my opponent favors raising taxes on the pharmaceutical industry, and he favors complete repeal of the tax bill. And I think that that would not be in the best interests of this district. An opponent, Malinowski, believes that Lance is not doing enough to stop the GOP tax bill that capped state and local deductions at $10,000. We're getting the short end of the stick here in New Jersey, as I'm sure all your viewers know. We get about 74 cents back from Washington for every dollar in taxes that we send there. Uh, we need to restore the full deductibility of our state and local income taxes, of our property taxes, which the Congress took away last year. Lance, who said the tax bill could hurt voters in this high-tax state, has tried to distance himself from the president's tone. We enacted the biggest tax cuts and reforms in American history. On occasion, I disagree with uh, the tone nationally from both Republicans and Democrats. That would include President Trump. It would also include statements by Hillary Clinton and Eric Holder and Maxine Waters. I think we should lower the temperature across the board. And uh, I am very proud of my record in this regard. I've held 47 town hall meetings, and I'm respectful to everyone at those town hall meetings, regardless of whether that person agrees with me or disagrees with me. Another huge issue that separates the two candidates is health care. Lance is proud to be one of only 20 Republicans who voted against the passage of the GOP-sponsored American Health Care Act in 2017 which was meant to replace the Affordable Care Act backed by President Obama. Lance's opponent saw this as an opportunity to win over the voters. You used to brag to your voters that I vote to repeal the Affordable Care Act. This was Repeal your and replace. Well, with what? 
Lance's wish is to preserve the pre-existing conditions of health care, while Malinowski argues that the status quo should be ruled unconstitutional. He also believes that Lance is changing his position just to keep his seat in Congress. That's, that not was the place. That's not accurate. The balancing act doesn't end here, though. Gun control is another political stronghold. Well, I'd do something. Congress has done nothing. Well, I favor a universal background check, eliminating the gun show loophole. In the NJTV debate, Malinowski jabbed Lance over gun legislation and that he is not consistent in his position. You weren't for any of those things until you got afraid of losing re-election. In fact, in your past campaigns, you proudly campaigned on your opposition. And my record I'm proud of, and I'm so proud that Gabby Giffords, who's really the leader in the nation on this issue, has endorsed me. She recognizes we need bipartisan cooperation on this issue. Democrats need to convert 23 seats to take control, and they've identified Lance's seat as among the most vulnerable. Malinowski called the five-term incumbent ineffective. He's out of step with the district, and he hasn't been particularly effective. Lance is called an honest, committed, and principled representative. Leonard Lance for Congress. In the meantime, constituents of the 7th District are gearing up for Election Day, where they will have to decide whether they seek new leadership or if Leonard Lance should return to Washington. In Somerset County, I'm Kimberly Kravitz for Jersey Matters.